and welcome to Centurion's Corner. And today we are repainting IG-11. Now, I'm not one to repaint official Hasbro figures, but I really dislike the colour of this figure. And I actually originally purchased this figure um, to actually repaint. Um, as we all know, as a Black Series figure, it's quite hard to, uh, to get hold of the original IG-11 unless you want to pay sort of big bucks for him or a little bit more than an, an average figure, especially for like a repack of IG-88. I think it's a bit of a con and I never really went out the way to actually do it because I just didn't think like he was worthy of it. Um, but this one is quite easy to pick up and obviously, you know, there's reasons why because obviously it's such a disgusting colour, it's, it's foul. Um, but so we're going to repaint this up. I've been looking on Google uh, for a few images of IG-11, some from the actual feature, some from other toys. And I've settled for one, um, which is this one. And I kind of like the sort of like degrading of the sort of rust on these parts going down into the leg and other parts here. I think it will separate enough from IG-11 just to give them that extra kind of personality on there. And obviously we're going to have to relook at painting all these other parts. I think the only parts that we're not going to be touching is the eyes inside, but it depends if paint gets in there, we're going to have to do that. So all oh, it is going to be a video of me repainting him and then having a look at the end at the new refurbished IG-11. So let's get to it. Don't forget, if you do like this content and you want to help the channel, then please just drop a like, you can subscribe and you can comment and ding that bell. Thank you so much.
IG-11 all finished and completed and looking a thousand times better than that horrible, horrible colour of the credit edition of that orange, gold, coppery plastic. It's just, it's just a nasty, nasty figure. But I get it why people do collect it if you're a mint collector and a, a complete a completionist. But yeah, I'm really loving this. I think it looks fantastic. I think the way it's turned out is really nice. And um, I think actually it puts a little bit of uh, IG-88 to shame, to be honest. So um, yeah. Anyway, let's go through this guy with a little bit more detail so you can actually get a, a nice kind of look at him. So we've got the silver all over uh, with the sort of dry brushing with the copper as well. I tried to stick close as I could to the actual uh, picture, but obviously just bringing a bit more realistic to it. And actually this is probably the most sort of detailed kind of weathering dirtiness that I've done. Uh, and then we got that nice kind of uh, look over the bandolier as well, the gray. So I think it's quite a good close match compared to that picture that we can just pop up on the side here. And um, you know, we've got this sort of weathering around on the, uh, the rubber parts. We've got the gold and the silver sort of weathering away as well. I never wanted to do too much sort of the bronzing color because uh, it took away. So I kept relaying it and doing a bit more silver over the top of it as well. And also you can see that I've done the guns and weathered them up as well, just to bring them more in line with the actual unit himself. So um, yeah, really chuffed with him and he's looking pretty dapper. Now I didn't have to do any red on there in the eyes and all that as I thought at the beginning. It's absolutely fine, so I didn't use any red. But the colors that I did use, and the main color that I did have, is a kind of gunmetal like paint um, LP19. I was a bit worried at this at first because it's kind of dark when you apply. It's very sort of blackish. Um, but saying that, it come out okay and it's got that nice sort of shiny oilness to it. Um, and I was going to try and keep it that colour, but it just looked far too dark next to IG88. So I then used the flat aluminium, and, and that's pretty much used on everything. So I did do a lot more dry brushing and painting in certain areas, wiping a lot off on the paintbrush to, to begin with, and then just literally just filling in all the gaps and making them a little bit more silver than he, than he originally was. This is also the same paint that I've used on these parts here and also the weathering on the guns as well. The other parts for all the kind of rust areas is I've used dark copper XF28 and um, again just light brushing over the areas, laying it, putting a bit of silver on, layering it again uh, into the certain areas. And then also the last bit of paint that I use which is for the bandolier is the Ocean's Grey RAF XF82 and it looks like an exact match to the colour they use for his bandolier as well. So it's really cool just um, having that straight away all out of pots with no mixing. So it's fantastic. So that brings me to the end of the video. Let me know if you're going to try this. You can write down in the comments below. You can also follow me on Instagram which is in the description where actually you can send me photos if you do try it. And also don't forget to subscribe and like the video and you can be there for the next content. So until next time, take care and I'll see you soon.